This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament. Welcome back to another episode of Airsoft GI 101. Today I will teach you how to remove the pistol grip from your M4. This is a KWA M4. The process should be the same for most models of M4 slash M16. In order to remove the pistol grip, I must first remove the motor, and in order to do that, I need to take off the bottom plate of the pistol grip, so that's what I'm doing. I have a Phillips head screwdriver right here, because that's what this gun requires. Most guns will use a Phillips head screwdriver for the bottom plate of the motor. If yours happens to require a different tool, then get the appropriate tool. The first screw is out. Now, the reason why I'm holding on to the bottom plate with my thumb is because the motor inside is spring-loaded. I don't want it to shoot out as soon as the screws are removed. Okay, now both screws are removed and the motor does pop right out of place. Okay, now the KWA M4 has this motor plate, this very small disc that is crucial to adjusting the height of the motor. Make sure you don't lose that. Another thing that's very important to note is the arrangement of the wires and the motor inside the pistol grip. Okay, almost all M4s will have, or actually almost all guns will have the red terminal, the positive terminal, on the forward section of the pistol grip facing forward where the barrel is. I say almost because I haven't worked on all guns so I don't want to make anything absolute. Another thing that's important is the arrangement of the wires and how they're arranged. When you reinstall your motor, they need to be arranged the exact same way. A lot of people forget how it's arranged and that could really mess up the operation of the gun if you're able to reinstall it at all. So I removed the red and black wires and I have pulled my motor out. What is keeping the pistol grip attached to the gun are two screws, two Phillips head screws, inside here and they screw directly into the gearbox. You're going to need a relatively long Phillips head screwdriver to remove these, so don't get a really short one. And also, it comes in handy to have a magnetized screwdriver, not so much when you're removing these screws, but when you're putting them back in. It helps if the screw sticks to the screwdriver. Okay. I do have that screw completely unscrewed from the gearbox, but it's not popping out, but that's okay. There are two screws on this particular model. Some guns will have four. Some aftermarket pistol grips will come with four screws. There we go. Magnetized screwdriver, very handy. Now that both screws are removed, I can take the pistol grip apart from the gun. Okie dokie. And I need to very carefully remove the wires from the pistol grip. That's what I'm trying to do without bending the terminals too much. Okay, once you get to this point, the pistol grip has been removed from the gun. If you want to put a different pistol grip on from this point, you can just reverse disassemble. Reverse disassemble everything I just told you. Keep in mind though, if you have a pistol grip with the ergonomic thing right there, beaver tail I'll call it, um, it's not going to work on a gun that has a rear sling mount right here in front of the buffer tube because they're going to hit each other. So I am not going to reassemble everything. You can go ahead and do that. Just take all my instructions in reverse. <laughs> 